you're away. So, welcome to this clash here between Glenorchy and Kingborough. Oh. Right. So, back underway here. Kick out there, which to the advantage of Glenorchy. Toe poking it off the ground there. There's Millington. Spun out there from Brown. Nice mark taken there from the Kingbridge defender. So off hands again. Snapping ball. Glenorchy have the numbers. Nice strong tackle laid. Picking up there was Brereton. Glenorchy will just be on hot pursuit there by Clay. Tap down there. It was strong. Dribbling goal. So first on the board there for Glenorchy. And it was a nice strong goal there to start proceedings. So again, back in the middle. Glenorchy kick kicking the first goal of the afternoon. Strong kick forward. Head over the ball. There's a flood of Kingborough players. Spinning out there, taken out from Triffitt. So, Ball up again. Tap down. Over the head there was Squires. Tumbling ball near Glenorchy's goal. Danger signs there. It's Kingborough goal. And Kingborough goal. So that's two goals to Kingborough. Just uh, fix our scores up. Dude, not much yeah. time in between games here, Bo. We must apologise, viewers. We're just getting ourselves together here. We I've accidentally put on the Glenorchy goal there, Duff. That's but all right. There we go. We're trying to trying to scramble there, Jerry. Trying to get us underway, but I think we've finally caught the grip now. I think we're up and about here, Bo. There we go. Strong tap down there from Francis in the ruck there for Kingbra. And it's going to be a free kick to Glenorchy. Addison Brown. Nice kick to space. Nice lead. Ellie Schultz. Strong kick. Dropping back in there was King Brown. Will be rewarded the mark. So, they got numbers out here. They had Crane on if she wanted off the hands of Hughes head over it there again was Dobson for Kingbra another ball up Bit a lot of, of contested footy here yeah it should be a good tight game this one but um, quick start rain. here to Kingbra yeah just a bit of rain coming in and the wind I think is going from right to left so it's favouring Kingbra at the moment strong pick up there Again from Hagen, kicks it to space. On that one was Driver. Bursting through there was Brereton. She'll be taking a strong tackle. Up and under ball there from Violet Hughes. Farrelly's there. And again, I think we'll see a ball up Duff. So, Hagen, 
strong rappling We'll have another ball up in a dangerous area for Glenorchy. Hagen taps it down. Advantage. Oh, it's just missing. Just to behind. So Glenorchy will try and kick it out. Off the hands there of Schultz. She'll pick it up again. Gets the kick away. Brown. Working in a phone box at the moment, Duff. And it's a nice mark taken there by Dobson. Should go with the inside out, Banana. I'll have a ball up. So just in front of us here is the wind starts to pick up here at KG5. Dobson. Again, she'll be taking in the tackle. Dobson spins around a few. Hagen. Snap kick on goal. Tumbling and... Gee, she's, she's kicked that down towards the uh, Eric race course, I think. It's a strong kick. You just wait for the goal umpire. And look at the goal umpire. He's gone all the way back here, working very hard. So I'll just wait for him. I think it was a behind. It was a behind. So the kick in the direction of Hughes. She's got someone in on her tail. We're pushing the back. Dobson goes for home. I'd say that's a behind. And just have confirmation here that it'll be a behind to Kingbury. So they're off to a quick start here, Duff. Two goals, three. Torp out. Murgatroyd. Strong mark out the back. Oh, It'll another be behind, I think. <laughs> She's looked very dangerous early, Ashlyn Hagen. What would you say that advantage to the left there of goal would be? I'd say it'd be about a four goal breeze. So with a couple of goals on the board. They're probably on track to get about four goals in this quarter. It's going to be very hard scoring goals to the right of screen. It will be. So Jones in there with Squires. And again off hands to Schultz. Twisting and turning, gets the hand pass away with Millington. She's got the C against her name today, Duff, the captain. I have another ball up here. So, just trickle out. Tap down from Hughes to Davis, but again met in the tackle. Flicks it up. Now the kick from Glenorchy. Puts it out in front of danger. Mer Mergratoid. And pass up. And again, Kingbra just scrambling. Out the back there is Hagen. How will the, ba the ball sit? Just evades her. Doesn't get the kick away in the end. She'll go back for seconds. 
off the hands of Squires. Oh. And we a mark there to Dobson. Should we go for goal? And it will be a goal there for Kingborough. So 22 points in front here. And already looking dangerous early. So we're back into the middle of the ground. Last game of the afternoon here at KG5 Duff. I've probably caught the, the worst part of the weather, the weather so far. Sits it out in front. Just lets some teammates run onto it. Bar. Playing a good shepherd there was Glenorchy. And again, Kingbridge is being able to scramble. Brown. Francis. Doesn't get the kick away. Randall. And again, Lovell there just with a kick only as far as Schultz though. And she'll send a high one long. Doesn't bounce in favour of Glenorchy. So I have another ball up. Tap down from Hughes. In there again it was King. And a very scrappy start so far. Kicking out there was Schultz. Oh, is it going to count? And I think it will count for Glenorchy. Yes. Schultz with the goal. So Glenorchy get there first by way of Ellie Schultz. So it will be two goals to three quarter. One goal to th one goal to three goal quarter here at KG5. We'll take a very short break and bring the action up next.
The back boat. Certainly are. Oh. So. No siren. No siren again. So spinning out there was driver for Glenorchy. This end will probably favour. Off the hands there of a few Kingborough players. Hagen. She's looked dangerous early. Tumbling ball. No, genuine one-on-one -on -one contest. So I'll have the ball up again. One down. Picking up was Barr. She'll go on for goal. Barr. And it looks like it's a goal there for Adele Barr. And it is. So, 22 point lead here. It was a nice lead up of play, bursting through the thick Kingber players. And Barr just being able to finish. Hagen, being good in the ruck. Out there was Brereton. Off the hands of a few Glenorchy players. Hagen spins around a few. Nice kick forward. An equal nice pick up there. In the direction of Braslin. And Duff, Jerry R, our man here at Duff TV, wants us to give a shout out to Matilda Randall, who's playing an awesome game. So, all done to her, and I'm sure she'll be very appreciative of that shout out. Playing a brilliant game. Have to beat the wind off hands of Hagen. Again. Have another ball up. It's been the, uh, the play today, the ball up. The umpire is definitely having the arm work out. Nice throw up again. In there was Jones. So Under that one was Driver. Tap down was run. One from Kingborough, Jones. Strong tackle laid there. It's a nice tackle. That's the tackles you want to start seeing, Duff. Up again, Hagen. She's been big. Already kicked a goal and there's a whistle. For a free kick. So Triffitt. Down the line, just over Millington. I have another ball up. Taken in the tackle was Frankie Squires. So no one back in the goal line for Glenorchy. If they can get a kick, quick, quick kick, they might be able to score. The wind is well and truly blowing here at KG5, like it was last night as well. Strong tap down there from Braslin. In, in and under. Bursting out there was Millington. She can run on to goal. Millington just misses. So, unlucky there for Millington. Need to lead to space. There's a whole lot of space just in front of the camera here. Instead, she'll just go long up the middle. Off the hands. Farrelly. Be a high contact free kick. To Jones. Hagen. Spins around. Gets the kick away. Nice mark taken there. From Clay. Again. Dropping the mark was Driver. 
wrapped up in a strong tackle there was Davis. So pretty even territory. Both ruck were not really getting much on the tap. Tripping over there was Schultz. She's kicked one. In and under there was Francis. The wind really starting to pick up here at KG5. Uh, repeat stoppages here. Jones, Hagen in there again. Nice pick up to a teammate in Brereton. Kick just failing to get to the Glenorchy player. Brereton again. Shrugs off a few players there and eventually will be called for holding the ball. So, Glenorchy kicking to the kicking end. Nearly a turnover. It'll be a push in the back. To Davis. She's got Hagen open. Not a very good kick. Toe poked off the ground. Drivers on Hagen. She'll get the kick out. Clay. Just dropping the footy on that occasion. And it'll be a free kick. To Jones. She'll drive it in. Out the back. There was Davis for Glenorchy. Picking up was King. And a few smothering kicks there. Very scrappy stuff at the moment, Duff. Yeah, not easy in this in this breeze. So back into the middle. There was Sinnet. Couldn't get it away. Harlow Crane just gets hindered with and it will be a behind to Glenorchy Jones and again we'll see another and pass out. Schultz. Nice kick. Just misses the teammate. Hagen spins around. Smothered by Brown. Under that one there was Driver in the long sleeves. Kick just misses the teammate. Ball doesn't sit. In there was Brereton. A flock of magpies there. Driver just gets the hand pass away. She'll pick it up again. Met heavily there from Jones. So Ella Jones kicks it. Out the back was Barr. And it will be another Kingborough goal. Yeah, very opportunistic goal there by the Tigers. So, three minutes left in this quarter. Tap down from Hagen was good. Finds a teammate in Jones. She's been dominant. There was Francis. She burst through. Picking up again there was Barr. It'll be a free kick. To Schultz again. So a very high kick. Brown. She's met by Jones and Brereton. Brereton. Again off the hands. I have another ball up here. So it's been the uh, the play of the day after the stoppages. There's been a lot of them. Very true. Tap 
down again. A strong two very even Ruckman. Jones is in there for Glenorchy. Pushed in the back there, though, from Jones, Ella Jones. The problem we've got here, Bo, we've got too many players around the ball. We need to get them to spread. To get them to spread out a little bit. A tumbling ball out the back. Hughes is there, and we'll just see that one out. Big chance for the Magpies. They've got this breeze behind them. So Glenorchy, it's a nice mark taken there from Millington. She might have to go for home. She needs to go back on the mark. Did the team thing and eventually didn't work out for them. Murgatroyd. Nice tackle late there. Running out of trouble. Again is King Brubert. Plays in there. Picking up was Braslin. Hand passing it out to a teammate in Millington. Out to Hughes. Snapping oh, ball. What would you say that is? I'd say that's a goal. And we'll just wait for the umpire here. <laughs> and it is a behind. <laughs> so kick out of defence, only as far as again the dominant magpies tackle was nice eventually got the hand pass away Hughes sits up for her gets ball on the boot Hughes Kingra mopping up nice mark taken there from driver and that'll be the siren so she can have a kick on goal if she wants driver no one on the goal line Ooh. And it will count as a behind. So, 9 to 40 here, Duff. We'll take another short break and bring you some more action, but Kingbra are definitely in the box seat.
play here with the second quarter. And again, it will be... Third quarter, isn't it? Yeah, third quarter, my bad. So, again, we'll have Kingbra kick into this end where they got so many goals. It's the dominant end. And we'll, uh, we'll see another ball up. So again, we'll have the ruck. Strong tap down there for Miller Jones. Picking up there was Driver. It was Braslin, sorry, for Glenorchy. And Ella Jones will get the free kick. She's been good today, Duff. Yeah. Had a lot of the ball. Kicking it in. It's a tumbling ball. Just misses for Kingbra. So, 9 to 41. And to kick it in here, it's going wonky. Nice kick out to Driver. Lily Driver here. Just off the hands there of Addison Brown. Picking up there was Adele Barr. A tumbling ball. She'll try and get it out, and that's what she does. Gabrielle Kinder. So this is the kicking end here, Duff, with a, where the wind is picked up. Ella Jones, shrugging off one, Jones. Oh, what a big kick. It's a nice kick, and it'll be a goal as well, Duff. Ella Jones, swooping goal there for Kingbra. Opportunistic goal. It's a very nice shoe as well. So, she's had a lot of the ball today, Ella Jones, for Kingbra. She's even spent a bit of time in the ruck as well. That's well, a good thing about the footy at this level. They allow everybody to play in the different positions, don't they? They certainly do. Which is a good thing. Braslin. She got taken without it. So, Matilda Randall. Hughes runs into trouble and just stiff arms her. Kicks it in the direction of the 50. What do they got here, the Pies? Farrelly's in there. Another ball's uh, bursted onto the oval. Going to Freya Lovell. The ball sits well. Oh, Lovell, lovely. kick inside 50. Out the back here. Who have they got? Kingbra. Soccering. Ball could have went. But decides to pick it up and was good under the under feet duff. It was Alicia Mergratroyd. Right. Opportunistic goal there. Great run there by the Tigers. She probably could have socked it, but instead she did a good job underneath to pick it up. Under a bit of pressure from the Magpies. I tell you, he's doing a good job, and that's this goal, this uh, field umpire here. She's been working very hard, doing a great job. Our volunteer umpires out here today, Bo. Slapped there from Ava Millington. She's got the captain. Picks it up. Goes to Freya Lovell. Hand passes out to Hagen. Just hits her on the foot. Sinnott. Hagen. All linking up. Bar. And oh. now again, Lovell can send it forward. Oh, this is like Collingwood, isn't it? They've just got this run on at the moment. It certainly is. They trip over themselves there, Kingbra. And I'm lucky to not get a goal from that duff. You go for Collingwood, don't you, in the AFL? Yeah, I okay. do. We'll... I think you'll be lifting the cup this year. I reckon we'll see some of these girls playing for the Collingwood AFLW as well. Oh, yep, settle down. Ella Jones. In there was Gabrielle Kinder, Brereton. Another good Collingwood player, Duff, Dermot Brereton. Oh, <laughs> I think he was spent by the time he got there. Wonder but. if there's any relation. <laughs> T 
tap was good there from driver. Met heavily was Farrelly. Mia Farrelly, the number six for the Maggies. And again, Lily Driver there. Ella Jones. She's had a lot, a lot of it. She's like a, a little Ruck Rover duff. And she said to her teammate, she's going to go back. She'll give it a fair old roost. And it will just miss. So it'll be a behind there for Kingbra. Five minutes and a half into this third quarter. And hasn't Jones looked good, Duff? Yeah, good player. Up against it, the Pies in this quarter. Going against that, that breeze. I reckon it's maybe died down just a little bit, but it's definitely worth a couple of goals to the Tigers' end. Nice torping kick to Mia Braslin there from the back half. It doesn't sit for Brown. And she'll be met by a tackle there. Eventually gets it out. In there again was Adele Barr, Brereton, Dobson, and now off hands of the pies. Jones just trying to rip it out there of jo from Talia Jones. So the two Joneses went head to head just then, Duff, and they'll go head to head in the ruck. One by Jones. Ella Jones sits it out in front of Dobson. She can pick it up. Ella Jones in there again with those fluoro boots. Driver. Only as far as Freya. Lovell. Brereton again. Yes, I like the game of Brereton. Little number nine, is it? Certainly is. Yeah, a lot, a lot of spark out there on the wing for the Tigers. Here they go again. Driving kick inside 50. Out the back was Murgatoy. And she kicked the goal last time, Duff. Can't get it again, so I'll have a throw up. This might be where Lovell can, can get the ball. Go for another goal. Tap down. Off the knee. She'll dive on it. Look, an orky player. Lovell's in there. Jones was lurking. And she'll lurk around again. Strong tap down to Jones. In there was Murgatroyd as well. And running it over there was Driver. So Lily Driver. Nice kick out. Only as far as Murgatroyd again. On the run, oh. if you don't mind, Duff. She's kicked at a country mile that time. Very, very nice kick there from Asher Murgatroyd. So, very big lead here. Two of the Tigers. Four minutes and a half left. Three and a half, really. Tackles one down by Hughes. Brereton again, the Ruck Rover. Dribbling kick in the direction of Jones. She's met by Matilda Randall. Kick out. Oh, Driver. The goalkeeper. Just misses the boot. Well, Jones in there again getting her own footy. She's had it on a string today, Ella Jones. The number 32 for Kingbra. Tap down again there. From driver, Matilda Randall. She's played a good game as well. Little number 24 in the pink boots for Glenorchy. Matilda Randall. Stellar game. Tap down to Randall. She'll be taken in the tackle. The umpire has done a very good job. Like you said, Duff. Ella Jones. She was in there. Not going too far though. To Frankie Squires. 
She'll unload. Nice kick from Frankie Squires there, Duff. That's a great footy name, isn't it? I like that. Very nice kick as well. Yep. Good shoe. Oh, they're taking advantage of this quite uh, strong breeze here. Still at least three goals and what they've kicked about four in this quarter. So they've had a great quarter here, the Tigers. 58 point lead. Here's some of the parents down here on the boundary line. Great to see them. Yep. yep. Out here this afternoon. Got the coach and the person on the hooter. Got the runner. Probably get just in time for Sunday afternoon footy, I reckon. Yeah. Again, Brereton. Oh. Bursting out through. Brings her own football. Randall went nice. Nice hands there. To Jones. So Talia Jones tumbles it forward. Brereton and Hughes do battle and they'll be happy to see that over the line. So one minute here. Left on this on the clock. But again the wind just starts to pick up here at KG. Tap down there from Clay. Again off the hands of Sinnett. Braslin, snapping ball, getting there first there was Davis, Kelsey Davis for the Kingbra Tigers. So 20 seconds left. Tap the other way there was from Glenorchy. Spinning it out. Brereton. Now. Oh, Brereton unlucky. will be very unlucky to not kick that one. So... 58 point lead here to the Tigers. We'll come back very, very shortly to wrap things up here at KJ5. I'm sure Brereton will, uh, will might get the award today, Duff. Oh, just about to be OG for me there, yeah, boat. So we'll take a quick break. We'll see you shortly.
Welcome back to final quarter action here at KG5. And again, it'll be the Dominic away. Kingborough team. We're underway. Wanorki just rushing it forward off the knee. Matilda Randall there. Spinning. Laura Davis. Back to Matilda Randall. Nice hand pass out. Looking for a teammate. It'll be Millington. Hughes just drops it. Lost sight of it. Randall out there again. Is Kingbra. Nice mark taken from Francis. And it's a very nice right shoe. She'll sit it out in front of Dobson. So Abby Dobson twists and turns. Kicks it forward to Lovell. And they'll just run that one out of bounds. So it was a quick start from Glenorchy, but weren't able to get the goal. Tap down was from Dobson. Spinning in a nice tackle. It was dropped. Talia Jones will kick it out on the full. So it's just starting to get a little bit colder here, Duff. Get the uh, the coat on. Especially if you have your shorts on, Bo. Yeah, the, the coach down there for Kimbra has his shorts on. Does he? He does. <laughs> Not just me. We're all set up here, though. Like to see Glenorchy go long here. That's what they do. It's a thumping kick. Our girl Ella Jones is going to collect it. And the umpire will call for a ball up. And just bringing it across here. See, so she's a very intelligent umpire, isn't she? She's been brilliant. Done a great job. Just brings it in away from the boundary line there. It's, it's ball's being pushed across there with a light little... Was it size three ball, is it, I think? I reckon it is. It's not very big. It definitely gets taken from the wind. So Ella Jones will be wrapped up in the tackle again. We'll pick up where we left off. Tap was a good one for me, Francis. Hand passing out there was from Harlow Crane. Kick forward from Glenorchy. Pushing a man out of it was Millington. In there was Matilda Randall with a nice pickup. up And again, a kick out there from Kinder. So now Kingbrook can try and attack, but it's a nice mark taken in the middle of the ground from Schultz. Oh, moves it on quickly. And Ellie Schultz off the hands of Hughes. Just lost sight of it. In there again was Kelsey Davis. We're going back to Schultz who kicked that one in. Randall. Bright pink boots. Kick off the instep. Abby Dobson, nice kick to the lead of Brereton. Surely you've got to get the three votes today. I reckon she will. It's a nice kick setting up a teammate. She'll run around. Looks like it was Adele Barr. Beg my pardon, it was Freya Lovell. And it will be a behind. So to bring it back in is Mia Braslin for Glenorchy. Into the middle of KG5 she goes. Nice twist there from Dobson. E. Francis just dropping it. Again in there was Eve Schultz. So I have another ball up here. Very good stuff by the umpire. It's a nice throw. In and under there again was Ella Jones. She's met by three magpies. Tap was run. Jones. She need to get the hand pass. Looked like it was Freya Lovell. Lovell for goal. That's a goal. Very tidy goal there from Freya Lovell. That extends that lead out. To 65. Great opportunistic goal there. 
against the breeze, just as Glenorchy, it felt as though Glenorchy were trying to get the ball away from the danger zone, but the Tigers again, they've had a great match for Kingbra. So Jones, Braslin, failing to get the kick away, twisting there was Kelsey Davis. It'll be a free kick for, I think, over the shoulder to Simmons. No, it'll be going to Talia Jones. And again, Ella Jones mopping up. She'll go quickly. Bomb inside, finds a teammate. Gabrielle Kinder. Nice kick, just dropped from Lovell. She'll go back and get it. Gets nice. a spinning kick from Lovell. Very nice kick there from Freya Lovell. Couple of goals there to Lovell in this quarter, is it? At least one there. Yeah, two, two goals yeah. to Lovell in this quarter. We I mean, a 71 point lead here. Do they play the mercy rule in this stuff? Oh, I'm not sure they might. The well, lead is well and truly passed. Yeah, I think that's what they're talking about now. Yeah, it's uh, not a bad rule, this. Just to try and give Glenorchy a chance to get the ball down forward here. I don't, don't disagree with this rule. Yeah, you got the parent just running on there. Yeah, just me. making sure. Need a Jim Horn here. Of course, he's up at the TC8. So, a nice kick. Off the hand. Randall, nice hands to Hughes. Just dropping it. Just bursting through there is Hughes. Oh, and it will just be geez. They're behind, so an even 70 point Gee, the lead. Could have, he could have just snuck the two hands up there, couldn't he, Bo? It was a very nice kick, and it was on the way. Oh, nice mark, mark there from Asher Mer Mergatroyd. Gee, they're doing well against the breeze here, King. We're a couple of goals, and you know, good players coming out of fullback. Nice kick there from Schultz. Off the hands. Out the back is Laura Davis. Nice hands out again. Hagen met in the tackle from Hughes. Big chance here for the Magpies. Just need to get somebody on the goal line here. It's a nice tackle there from Hughes and Driver who kept Hagen in. She's been really dangerous. It'll be Randall and her in the ruck. Randall not being able to get it on that occasion. Out there was Driver. Got the hands out, went to go pick it back up again, but Hagen steamed through. Murgatroyd goes. Nice mark taken by Millington, the captain. Had a runner on if she wanted it. Goes there eventually. Off the hands of Schultz. Banana kick in over the top of Randall. I've liked the game of Schultz today. And again, Murgatroyd kicks it out. Jones oh. ends up with it. So scrambling bowl, Taylor Jones for Glenorchy will get that one out of bounds and four minutes left here. So Glenorchy well and truly out of it, but I'm sure another goal would be good. Tell you what, they're fighting it out. They have near, not stopped trying. Near mark there from Driver. Schultz actually. That was Schultz, yeah. She's now she'll a, go to Driver. Having a great last quarter of Schultz, though. She definitely is. Driver got the hands out. Bar. And again, Ella Jones. Oh, gee, Ella Jones. I'll tell you what. Just about, that's probably two votes for Jones here, I think, for this game. I reckon it is. I'd say, uh, was it Brereton? Yeah, Brereton, Jones, and I reckon... I reckon Schultz from Glenorchy is just my number one vote. There you go. These are three twos and ones from Duck. So, kick nearly smothered there. And again, Jones running in. She's probably racked up 20 touches today. I reckon. Brereton there taking in the strong tackle. So three and a bit minutes left. Ella Jones again getting the clearance. As Brereton comes off for a spell. Oh, nice sure. pick up there from Driver. She'll go to Millington. Was it Driver off. Or Schultz, so we're getting our players mixed up. I think it was Driver. Was it? There she is now, Schultz. Of course, Ella Jones a little 
pocket rocket there in the middle. So two minutes left. Ella Jones in the ruck. She'll go back again and get it, but she's not going anywhere. She's taken in a really nice tackle there from Ava Millington, the skipper. For Glenorchy. Over the top. And again, Jones. Couldn't get a hand out. And she'll be looking for the receive. Picking up there with Squires, but not really being able to go anywhere. So a minute and 20 left here. And this dominant cash against Glenwalky Kimber have uh, been very nice. Jones in the ruck. The umpire got in the way. Up there was Eve Francis. About the first mistake from the umpire. She's had a good game here. She has had a very nice game, and I reckon these guys are getting out of the rain very nicely because it's you just see to it's, start bucketing down, I reckon. it's about to pour down. Over the back, long kick. On pursuit there is Asher Murgatroyd. Kicking it there. Oh. From the boundary, it looked like it was Hughes. Oh. And we'll be here behind, though. So, 30 seconds left. They're getting out of the rain here. So, picking up there was Schultz. Tumbling ball forward, Schultz, and we'll miss to the left. So they've kicked 6-6 six, six here today as the siren goes. Dominant display from Kingbra. Drum roll, please. It'll be Brereton with probably the three votes. She's loving it down on the boundary. Did she get dragged? She did get dragged, but oh, I reckon just she's part got of the, the three rotation, votes. I think. Three, two, one votes, I reckon Brereton. And looked like it was Ella Jones and Schultz. So, we'll just say the, uh, the cheers. Well, thank you very much, both, for coming along today. Thanks for having me, Duff. It's been a very good day of junior football out here at KG5. Of course, we had a stack of games on. It was a pleasure to do two of them. So, it'll be Glenorchy 12 to Kingbra 80. So, dominant display there from the Tigers. We'll see you next week, I reckon, for some more action in the STJFL. So, bye for now.